How's it going everyone? So I'm going to quickly address a couple questions that I've been getting about when you're going to submit your medical school applications, when it opens so you can start working on it, the difference between submitting it for processing and submitting it for actual schools, when you should take your MCAT, uh, like the latest before you can get your score back so that you can still apply as early as possible, all those sorts of things. Because I was a little bit confused on it because there's a couple different dates that kind of go on throughout the application cycle. And I remember when I was applying, I was super confused. So I'm just going to help you guys out really quick and just give you guys some good dates right now. So I'm on the AMC website, which is the American Association of Medical Colleges. And we're going to go over here to students and residents. And you're just going to go up here to calendar. So this is where you're going to find some really important dates. And so you see we're in January 2020. And whatever year you're watching this in, you can still go to this calendar to find out these dates. And you're going to see if I scroll forward all the way until May right about over here Monday May 4th 2020 that's when the 2021 AM AMCAS application opens so that's your medical school application website that's when you can actually open your application and start working on it you don't you, you can't submit it yet but you can start working on it you can start putting your information in and going through it and I'm actually gonna post a video of my entire application soon so uh, stay tuned for that but you're gonna scroll down later on in the month and you're going to see right here on Thursday, Thursday, May 28th at 9.30 a.m., you can submit your application. Now, there are differences between submitting it for processing and submitting it to schools. So you can submit the application, but what happens is it goes to processing. So it doesn't, you don't have to select all your schools and select all the schools you're going to send it to, and then it gets sent off you're going to submit it for processing and you're you might have heard about sending your application to like a dummy school what what you want to do is you choose a school that you don't really care to actually go to or get into because you have to choose a school to submit your application prop for processing but once your application is processed you can send it to as many schools as you want but by getting it processed as soon as possible you can submit it to all the schools you actually want to submit it to when the um, when the day actually opens up which you'll see if we go to June 2020 on Friday, June 26, 2020, it says processed applications are sent to medical schools. So this is when, after your application is processed, which takes about a week or two after you submit it. So if you submit it on the 28th of May, it'll probably be um, processed somewhere within like the second or third week of June. And then you can add on the schools that you are kind of wanting to apply to. Because now you don't have to wait for your application to get processed again because it's already processed. But in order to submit it for processing on the 28th of May, you do have to choose one dummy school. For example, I chose Harvard when I submitted my school my application. I didn't choose any other schools. I just chose Harvard. Why? I, I wasn't going to get into Harvard. I, there's, there was no way I was getting into Harvard. But I didn't, you know, I wanted to choose a school that I didn't actually care that my application went to because I just wanted to get my application processed. That way, on the 26th, it was already processed, and as soon as it was able to go to, out to all the schools I chose, which you know I spent the last like two weeks of June choosing, then I submitted it and I just sent it out. So that's really important um, because people kind of don't know that there's a difference. So what happens is they think that they have to have their MCAT done in time for May 28th and or their score back for May 28th, and then some. You know they don't know that there's a difference between processing and submitting, which is you know super important because what can happen is you can take your MCAT at the end of May and get it before you know before that 26th submission date, and you know still be on the first wave of people sending the application out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to 2020 MCAT calendar or dates, and we're going to go to this US MCAT calendar. And we're going to scroll down. So you're going to see the test dates and the score release dates. So test dates and score release dates. So we're going to scroll down. And you want to find score release date that's closest to that June 26th uh, you know, date that all the process applications go out. So you're going to see June 23rd is the last score release date before, before this date here that process applications go out which means that the latest that you can take your MCAT and still get your score back before sending out your processed application is May 21st. So you can you can start working on your application in May 2020, work through it all the way through May and take your MCAT on May 21st right here 
and still and then submit your application for processing on May 20 on May 28th and still have a pending MCAT score while your application is processing. Your MCAT application can be processed without an MCAT score. That's something I think people don't know. I didn't know that. I was very confused on that last last year when I was applying. So if you want to know the latest you can take it, the latest you can take it is May 21st, submit your application for processing on May 28th to a, dumb, a dummy school a school maybe you don't actually care to go to, and then your application will be processed in a couple weeks, and then one, once it's processed, you can now choose the schools you actually want to apply to. You'll get your score back on the 23rd. If you if you take the latest MCAT on the 21st, you can get your score back on the 23rd, still have two days to really choose your schools based off your MCAT score, and submit your process application on the 26th, which is the earliest you can submit it in 2020 for the 2021 cycle. Um, I hope that helps. I hope that gives you guys clarity. Again, you can you know you can always take your MCAT after that date. You know it's all you'll see it's all the way through September. The only downside is you will now be late in the application cycle. But some people think that you have to take your MCAT you know in April or like you know by May at the latest. But but no, you can you can still have a pending score when your application is being processed before that submission date. So. Yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions about you know the timeline for the application cycle, definitely comment it below. I'll try to help you guys out. Anyways, that's all you got for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.